Hi everyone, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to my YouTube channel. Cheers! This is going to be a reading for the zodiac sign of Leo. So how are you doing my darling Leos? This is a general reading so not all the messages here are going to resonate with you but if it does, just claim it 100%. Feel free to reverse the roles, apply this reading to you or to the person you're thinking about when you come across this reading, my darling Leos. Do you know where your other sign placements are? What are they? Where is your moon, your Venus, your Mars, your North Node? If you do not know where these are, I want you to go to Google, free birth chart calculator. Allow Google to calculate your chart, make a note of where those placements are go to my channel watch all those readings and i guarantee you i'm assuming this is your sun sun sign go watch where your moon is go watch where your venus is and you'll get so many more answers to whatever you're asking about okay so i'm going to start by taking some nature's whispers cards just to see what the overall theme of this reading could be now the first thing that I want to read out to you is the big picture. Whenever I see the card Leo's, it's all about looking at the bigger, bigger, what can I say? The bigger scenario of what is happening in a particular situation. You can apply this to your work, apply this to a love situation. There's something that is going on here where you are looking at things at just the eye level. Look at the bigger picture. It's like take that higher view because Perhaps you need to get a fresh perspective. That's one. Then I have a fresh approach. That is exactly what I'm talking about. You need to have another perspective to an old problem. You have been dealing with something the same way. You need a fresh approach. Look at the bigger picture. Clear endeavor. This card often talks to me about where you need to have a clear path that you want to go ahead. This is the message I'm getting. This could also mean that perhaps there were a lot of obstacles in your path which were blocking your movement ahead. But I think by changing your approach, looking at the bigger picture, you are going to have your path cleared now. Show your support. For me, this is either your friends who are around you, Leo. Perhaps you're not reaching out to anybody. Are you secluded today? Are you staying you know, within yourself? There is support around you. Amplify your positive emotions. If you are stuck in some kind of a negative funk, I want you to know that it's time for you to look at the big picture, a fresh approach, clear your path of obstacles. And I think the biggest obstacle is you and your thoughts. And I'll tell you what is waiting for you. There's going to be a potential gateway. This is so much like the cancer card where you're running, running away from a problem, setting yourself free, leading to hope and happiness and expansion. Now you can apply this, like I said, to not just your love life, but to your work as well. So I think some of you, I feel this, are going to have some kind of an expansion and growth, perhaps, perhaps a wonderful promotion in your workplace. Comment below, let me know, Leos, what you're going through. But these were the, you know, the this, this could be the framework of your reading today. Now, let's move on to the tarot. I'm going to be taking my Arcanum Tarot deck to give you some messages for whatever you are going through, Leos. Now, let me remind you one more time, you can apply this reading to you or to the person or the situation you're thinking about, my darlings, when you come across this reading, i.e. flip the roles. You ready? I am. Let's go, Leos. Come on. My Leos. My lions. Okay. Let's see. Leos, please. Leos, please. You. I love it, Leos. Whoa. Not the whole deck. Now your cards are sticking, so we stop. Okay, I want to first show you, you showed up in your own readings, my darling. <laughs> this is your card, Leo, the sun. <sighs> what can I say about this card? It's all about the heart. That's what you are, larger than life, but your heart is pure as gold. And when the sun shines, I always imagine it as if, you know, 
the earth is dancing with joy. The trees are blooming, flowers, every, it's growth, expansion, happiness. But this is also about a childlike energy, you know. And then I see this card of this little child that says, amplify your positive emotions. This is there. This is, You are still in your, you know, you're still there in your element. But it's it's just gotten, you know, somebody has dampened your your light or dampened your shine. Do not allow them to do that. This could also be about creative ventures, Leo, about children. Let's see. What else? Oh, my God. You have a lot of major arcanas. I'll tell you that right off the bat. Okay. You're showing up as... Oh, and the cancer card did come out. Now, the interesting thing is that there are two women here. So let's start. And they're both polar opposites. This, I don't know which one you are. You can put yourself in the description I'm giving. Apply yourself to that particular energy, okay? And again, do not even go by the sex of the cards, Leo. This is showing up as a queen of cups. But if, if you are a man watching this, if the description fits you, it's you, all right? So, Queen of Cups, this is a water sign. Beautiful energy, all about feelings and emotions. You can see that cup that she's holding in her hand, Leos? This cup is ready for her to offer to anybody who wants to give her love. She is open to give love and receive love. This is a water sign. This could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or... A Pisces, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody like this or you, my darlings, are showing up in this beautiful energy of the Queen of Cups. There's somebody, I mean, this is, um, this also can be your psychic abilities because this is a minor arcana of the High Priestess. Okay, let's look at the second character here, the Queen of Wands. Look at all the red. Aya, ah, yeah, this is you. This is a fire sign, just like you. Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. This is somebody who's got such passion and charisma, confidence. This is a lucky queen. She has this ability to create because that one that she holds in her hand, it's confidence and passion. So when these two meet, you create magic. Magic. This is somebody who wants to connect. Somebody who's desirable. Very passionate, hot, fiery, competent, confidence, full of energy. Somebody who loves to take on projects and just loves to, you know, is that go-getter. Somebody's glowing, yeah. Powerful, a little bossy. A little bossy, but there's somebody who's very independent. Now, this energy, the Queen of Cups is somebody who, you know, I'm not saying she's clingy, but she's somebody who wants love. You know who, who's that? I, who wants to hear all those sweet little nothings. This one, no, 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 no. She's very hot and passionate. I think this person is more independent. This person is more of that, I want this. You know, it should be like this. So I don't know which energy you are in, but there are two women here. Now, let me show you the major arcanas you have. You have the Fool, which is Aries. You have Aquarius, which is the star. You have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Jupiter. Judgment, which is Scorpio. Now, this is again a water sign. Has there been some kind of a loss? Oh my goodness, there's a death card too. Again, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, huh? Uh, Leos, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Now, has there been has there been some kind of a loss? Are you obsessed with some loss that has happened to you? I don't know which one of you. Is there some kind of a contest or a competition going on between two people? I'm just wondering because this kind of this loss that this person has gone through, this four of cups, is somebody who is obsessed with what has gone wrong. They refuse, if you look here, Leo, to so look behind to see that there is still that higher perspective. Remember that card that came out first? They're asking you to look, but you refuse to look at it. What has been the loss? And there has been somebody who's grieving, who's grieving. Is this you? Is this you, Leo? Are you grieving the loss of something? I'm going to take one more card before I go on here, okay? My Leos, please. My Leos. All right. Okay. Cards. Okay. Wow, Leos, this is about a marriage. 
there's been a very, very painful ending. Very, very, extremely painful ending. You know, when I see these two cards, and the swords, this is an overkill. This is a painful ending filled with lies, deceit, betrayal, heartache, pain. As you can see, her heart is pierced. And Leo, you are all about the heart. I told you, you're the sun, you know, and you're, you come from the heart. Your heart is bigger than gold. And you are, you, that's your energy. And somebody has broken your heart. And you've been carrying a burden, some kind of a burden with you. And it's been so heavy. Has some relationship been a burden for you? And I think you are showing up as this, as this hot, fiery sign. As a Leo, as a Sag, or an Aries, or you could be dealing with one of them. But there has been a very painful ending for someone here. Very painful ending. And you've been carrying the burden of either the truth or a relationship, but the betrayal has just put you flat out flat out and somebody here is stuck at looking at something in just one way and that is that it's a loss it's a missed opportunity it's also a feeling of rejection some of you feeling rejected leo and you know it's it's, it's leos have a bit of ego you know that you're you're the lions you're the kings of the jungle so if somebody rejects you it's not going to go down very, very well. But let me just put that gently. Somebody is going to be hella mad, but there's been some bit of a time that you've spent like this and has been horrible. Somebody is on their back, literally flat out because they cannot deal with some kind of a betrayal. Now, I know this is a marriage. Okay. Ooh. Everything shook. I know this is a marriage because I have the Ace of Pentacles here. I have the Four of Wands. Now, when these two cards come out together, this is about building foundations, happy events in a home. This is money, money, money. This is building your stability. And the Queen of Wands is all about that. Somebody who wants to build in the 3D. I think I'm talking to a single Leo, very independent. Somebody who wants this, wants this marriage, wants this commitment, wants to build a home wants to build a business with somebody. And this person is your wish fulfillment. Who are who is, is this person at a distance from you? Because this is also the card of Aquarius. Plus, it is a card of social media. Are you dealing with somebody online, Leo? Are you dealing with a love interest online? And there's a lot of, you know, maybe back and forth things going on, chatting, blah, blah, blah. And you're really hoping to create something with this person in the 3D, a home, a family, money. Somebody here is wanting to create stability with someone who is perhaps at a distance from them. I can't shake that off. Perhaps they are, I don't know, in another city and you're talking to them online. What is this ending then? You know, when I see this other lady here, there are two women here and both of you are showing up as queens. And I also have the page of cups here. I have the king of swords. Are you dealing with this kind of an energy? This is an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. I think this is more Aquarius. I clear thinker, maverick, cut, cold, dry, rational, logic, not the heart. Are they somebody who's married? This is also a card of legalities because this is like that sword, you know, is like the sword of clarity because swords are your thoughts, uh, what you put across in terms of your words, communication. That's all the sword energy. And then I have this, this mother and a child. Now, this little child, if there is a child involved here, were you waiting for somebody to finish getting a divorce or something? Because, you know, this is a card of legalities. Perhaps this could also be a lawyer, somebody who wears a uniform, cold cut, calculative, uh, somebody who knows how to find their way through a problem. Solutions that is very intelligent. You have two Aquarius cards here as well. Perhaps you were dealing with an Aquarius, but I think you're dealing with somebody at a distance, Leo. And if there is a child involved here, as in they have an ex, this child is sweet, very, very sensitive, um, a dreamer. 
is there another woman here? Because when I see two women in one reading and one masculine, okay, which is a knight of swords, which is also about legalities, it makes me wonder if there is another woman and a child in this picture. Are you waiting for somebody to get a divorce? This is Pisces, huh? By the way, unexpected messages this could be a crush, an apology, an immature love offer. It's also gossip. I'll tell you something. You've been wanting a solid love offer like that four of wands, you know. And this is a solid pentacles of money. It's earth energy. It's solid. It's grounded. It's fixed. You want this with somebody. You've been dealing with them over social media. Okay. And this is your wish fulfillment. This is that wish that you had. You know, you wished upon a star that you could have this person and you could have this kind of a stability with them. But you feel rejected by them. And I'm wondering, you feel rejected. And you were showing up as somebody hot, passionate, and fiery. Somebody who's okay on their own. I feel this. They are still dealing. They're still dealing with somebody. Yeah. Perhaps you're waiting for that divorce to happen. Do you have a crush on somebody online? Okay. And you feel rejected by them. Because they're still you know, dealing or they still have legalities to go through with their ex and you're waiting for them to finish this. I wonder, this is just a thought that's coming up in my mind. Now, when the seven of wands comes here, the nine of wands, this is a progression, darlings. From the seven, you went to the nine. Okay. And when the seven of wands comes in, there's something very stubborn, rigid, not wanting to show their vulnerable side. Somebody who puts up barriers, somebody who's not feeling safe to love. Very standoffish, guarded, conflict-based. You know, somebody wants to just, just guard it. Like everything for them is like they're expect, expecting an attack. Closed off. Who are you dealing with? You know, then I look at this energy here. Is this person, because they're not with you in the 3D, as in, you know, in physically, because they're at a distance, they're constantly very guarded about anything that is going on with their ex and that child. I feel this. The second message, I think, is you have been standing strong, defending this relationship, hoping and wishing upon this star that, yes, you are going to receive it. You, it's going to happen. It's going to work out. You just have to wait a little more, a little more. I'm feeling this. And you've reached a nine, the nine of wands, which is exhaustion. You cannot defend this anymore. You've had enough. Now you are putting up a wall. I think every time you've spoken to this person, they have been putting up a wall, not wanting to be vulnerable. They've used their words, that clarity of thought to cut you and tell you, you know, I told you we have to wait, blah, blah, blah. It's very logical kind of a person thinking, not sweet and lovey-dovey. You've reached this point of exhaustion where you are tired. You're tired. You know, then I see this card from this nine, you've gone to the 10. But when I see the 10, Leos, I'm very happy. And I know you'll think I'm crazy. I'm happy because after the 10, there is no 11. It breaks down to the one, which means this is the worst that you've gone through. You've gone through the worst in a situation. Some communication has come from this person, which is really touching. Here's to your heart. Very, very painful ending, betrayals. And you felt stupid carrying this, this heavy burden of this relationship and defending this person, standing up, guarding. Why? You've decided to put up a wall and close yourself up because you're wounded today. You're just like a lion being wounded. Now you are closing the door and not trusting anybody. You're being defensive, you're being wary, you're feeling on guard. I'll give you another message here. Because the page of... Cups is also a kind of gossip. Perhaps you've heard some gossip that they're still going through legalities or you've heard something which you made you say, you know what, enough. I'm just going to guard my heart because Leo, you were all about the heart. You've had enough. You've had enough. You're closed off and you're tired and you're wounded. You know, this is somebody who's wounded. You know, like they say, when a lion tastes blood, you know, or you, you, I don't know whether it's blood or human flesh. I don't know. They, they're going to attack. So they, somebody has got you in a cage and, you know, wounded you with their words or their actions. 
And you felt like, why was I carrying this burden? And I think in one instant, you're just going to drop it. You're going to just drop this person. I feel this. I feel this. You're going to bring about a death to this situation, to your way of thinking. Remember that card, the new perspective, higher ground, a fresh approach. You are bringing the situation to a close, saying, enough. Enough. I don't know what gossip you've heard. I don't know if this person has hurt you with their words. Something has been done to you, which has pushed that button, you know, that lever of no more. Because you're tired, you're tired. It's look at this burden that you've been carrying. And again, you see there's a house here in the background. I think you've been very close to home. And you've been telling yourself, you know, I'm so close to getting my four of wands with them, my home, my stability. It's too much. And because the relationship is at a distance, there is no... You miss this person too, Leo. You've been wanting to create something with them. But some information has come in that they are still dealing with something else that is of a legal nature or with another individual and a child. And you've had this huge crush on this person and you believe that this could work out. You're tired, you're wounded. You're closing the cycle. You're bringing an end to a way of behaving, to a way of behaving with this person, to a way of treating this person, to a way of... Looking at this relationship, you are changing that. But when there's a death, there's always a transformation. Perhaps you were somebody who was obsessed with someone. You had such a huge crush on them. And for you, losing this relationship meant the end of the world. But you're changing that. You're bringing a death to that old way of thinking. Leo, I love your next cards. Yeah, judgment. This is Archangel Michael. This is about divine timing. When this card comes up, it tells me that spirit has your back. Your angels are watching you. This is again Scorpio. I think you're dealing with a Scorpio. Leo, comment below. Let me know, please. Second chances is help from spirit. Spirit has been seeing you struggling with a particular situation. You've been dealing with it in the same way. Over and over again. And you've not been able to do it. Not been able to do it. Now, this time, spirit will make the decision for you. And things are coming out in the open, things that you did not know. It's a very, very critical moment for you, Leo, when you need to look at the problem as it is. Not the way you've been seeing it all this time, you know, with those perhaps in a very, very, you know, romantic and glamorized way. Because this is your wish fulfillment. It's a wake up call for you. An ending of sorts, but a transformation and a new beginning. And Archangel Michael is here to tell you everything is happening in divine timing. He is going to balance the scales. He is going to correct the balance. He is going to say who is right, who is wrong. They are going to give judgment. The fool. Going to take a huge leap of faith. Into what? The unknown. Remember that magical gateway? You have the cancer card here as well. You're going to move. You're going to move away from this person. Okay? Not just physically, but also mentally and emotionally. I think you are. Because you're tired. You're tired. This is a card of movement. And you bring in the wheel of fortune with expansion, growth. Remember those cards? Happiness. This is all that. This is Jupiter. Jupiterian energy. This is Aries. This is Cancer. I think somebody has made you a fool and kept you stuck in a situation on purpose, on purpose, knowing that they would take a long time to fix something. But they've kept you there because, you know, like I said, Leos, you're showing up as a queen of wands, somebody who's hot, sexy, and passionate. Was this a sex-based relationship where you just met, you know, to spend passionate times with each other? Your intentions were to always grow this. Theirs wasn't. Theirs was to just have, you know, that kind of a passionate time with you and then go back to dealing with the, you know, the mother of their child or the mother and their child. Just putting this out. Leos, let's take some cards from the situation's tarot. I can see when I can get there. You're closing out this cycle. You've had a huge crush on this person, the Leos. So my Leos. And again, my darling Leos, 
year here. This is available for you. I do not want you to forget that happiness. Okay. Now, you know this. This is a card of timing. Tick tock, tick tock. It's almost like the judgment card where, where you under you're understanding that. Perhaps some of you are scared that time is running out and hence you're just focusing on what you're losing. And if you lose this person, it's the end of the world. It's not. Spirit has your back. Whatever is happening is happening on their time, i.e. in divine timing. You are not running out of time, Leos. There's plenty of time for you. I promise you. Do not settle for less, okay? Do not settle for somebody who is not treating you the way you are supposed to be treated. Now, I have another timing card here. Somebody is a, feels time is running out. I'm just going to put this out there. I'm just going to put this out there. Somebody feels like, you know, time is running out. If I don't do this in this time, in this year, in this month, blah, blah, blah. I'm so old. Please banish that thought. Banish that thought. Everything is happening in divine timing. And Archangel Michael is in charge of your life now. I'll just tell you what I'm getting. You're dealing with somebody who got caught doing something forbidden. I don't know what this is. You know, I'll give you a message and I'll be clear with you here. You're dealing with somebody who's married with a child. Leos, just comment below, let me know. You're dealing with somebody who's already got a child and they're married to somebody, but perhaps they're going through legalities. Did you get caught? Please do not be somebody's side chick or side, you know, dick. Please don't. Wait for them to get out of something. If somebody here got caught doing something forbidden. You know, this gamble, take a risk. Vacation, hideaway, adventure. Did you meet this person on a vacation? That's one. You met them over drinks. You know, I'm getting a message that you got caught. I don't know why. Or if I can give you another message, that person, you caught them doing this. So I'm not feeling that. I think you got caught doing this with them because they're still married, putting this out there. Somebody who's pregnant here. Did you know that they have somebody who's got a child who would be pregnant? Leo's, I don't know if they told you this. If they have not, I'm just putting this out there. This person is connected to somebody else with whom they have a child or children. And that's what is pulling their heartstrings. Have they told you this? The other message I'm telling you is if you did not know, perhaps you found out via the gossip card that they have got somebody else pregnant. These are the two strong messages I'm getting. But if I had to pick the strongest one, the strongest message I am getting is that you have been dealing with somebody okay perhaps you've been meeting them you know on adventures or little short trips and they are married with a wife and a child or with children you got caught i don't know how maybe you know the wife saw some texts i don't know but you knew that they were waiting to get a divorce or they were on the way but it's not yet done somebody here got caught doing something forbidden Comment below, guys. Let me know which one of this is applicable. You've gone through these waves of emotion with this person. Up and down, up and down, up and down. All the time, ups and downs. Sometimes they're available to you, but then when they go back, you know, to their family, they're gone. And you're thinking, what do I do now? It's terrible. I, 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 my heart goes out to you, Leos. You know, it's, 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 it's very difficult when you're going to be dealing with somebody who has somebody else, Leos. It's, you're never going to be there. there, there you know, that 100% is never going to be for you. And that's why I wanted to just rethink if this is what you're doing. You felt imprisoned in this love, locked up and chained because your emotions are for this person and they're so strong, Leos. They're so strong. Because you believed this was your soulmate. You believed in it. Like I said, this was your wish fulfillment. This was your soulmate. That's what you believed. Been in denial. 
not accepting that, you know, they're still dealing with someone, you're just believing them blindly, I'll give you another message here. Every time you ask them a question about what they're doing, they've come at you with this denial. No, 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 I'm not dealing with them. It's over. You know, it's finished. She's, I'm just talking to her. No, and they've, they've been taking drastic actions too. They've, they've been love bombing you, spending time with you, a lot of sex, passion, drinking, fun, and then bounced. They've been doing that to you too. And you knew this, like the judgment card is you have been ignoring the red flags. Spirit has been trying to show you. And you've been in a state of denial because you feel lost without them. You've convinced yourself this is your soulmate, Leo's. But I want to tell you something. Happiness is here for you. It's all happening in divine time in TikTok. Happiness is here for you. And there's somebody on the verge. You know, there's like a crush. Somebody is here on the verge to tell you that they want to be with you. And that will be your real soulmate. You can't, I, I think you, you, you may have to kiss a few more frogs before you meet your prince. But Leos, please conserve your energy and your beautiful, uh, what can I say, your love. Please, because this is there for you. Now, you know what I'm going to do? Because you've convinced yourself that this is your soulmate. That's the problem. You've convinced yourself. And you've gone about this in a very logical way. Let's take some kippers, okay? Kipper. Hi, Kipper. Can I get some messages for my Leos, please? Okay. Here we go. Leos, look. There's a gentleman. And there is a main person. You know, with this card, there is a main person in a male, too, but it's not showing up here. So you are dealing, you know, what is this imprisonment? Have you found out that they have got some uh, past history of the law? Or is this the card of you keeping yourself in a mental prison? I'm going to read this card two ways. You know, this may song for me is a home. You wanted to build a home with them. Yes, you wanted to. This is also like a tower, you know, where messages comes in, 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 messages come in, information comes in that just breaks a foundation down that you thought was strong. But spirit could see that it wasn't because you were ignoring the red flags. Somebody is going through something. I don't know if this is a divorce or this, this imprisonment and this. I hope it's, you're not dealing with somebody who's a jailbird. Huh? Comment below, let me know, please. All I know is that there's a beautiful gift coming from you. Now, this, this, this main person, okay, this main person who's showing up here, uh, this is an older person, influential. Is there an age difference between you and somebody? And there is a main person. I don't think this person is you. You're not this person, Leo. You are dealing with somebody older to you, perhaps. Okay. There is somebody else here who is their main person. I don't want you to be somebody's side chick. I just want you to know that you are not the main person. If you didn't know that, Leos, there is somebody else. This is coming for you. Allow this gift. And this is, again, like this could also be something new, you know. Something new coming for you, Leos. Allow that to come in. Now, I think you had no idea. Some of you did not have an idea, Leos. Okay, because I look. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, Leos. They're, they are married still with a child, Leos. If they're telling you they're not, they're lying. Please, they are still married. You are not their main person. And that's what pisses me off. You're not their main person. They're telling you you're the main person. You're not, Leos. They're still dealing with somebody else. I'm going to take some angel oracle cards for you to give you additional messages. My Leos, please. Let's see what we got. Hello from heaven. Now, this is somebody watching you. Your, this could be your past and loved ones. Archangel Azriel, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. You are protected, divinely protected. Clairvoyance. Archangel Raziel. 
I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can clearly see heavenly love. Hello from heaven. Healthy lifestyle. Some of you have been in this, not taking care of yourself, obsessed with something, obsessed with someone. Archangel Raphael, eat a healthy full diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. If some of you have been neglecting your health, this is asking you to refocus back on your health. Comfort. Comfort. Archangel Azriel, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. I know some of you have gone through a severe heartache and betrayal. I'll give you two messages here. Either you got caught dealing with a married person who has a child and a mom uh, and a baby mother and their baby mama, and it broke your heart to know that you did this one message. Second message is they have been promising you that they're on the verge of getting a divorce and it's not happened and they're still dealing with them. This could be the second message. These are the two strong messages. But I also feel some of you did get caught. Did get caught. And did that person choose, choose their, choose their, you know, married person? I wonder if this person has some kind of a, a legal background too. A background as in not something nice and sterling. I'm talking about jail time. Leo, please take cognizance of this because those cards when they come up, that imprisonment, you know, somebody being in jail and that jurisdiction, uh, ju judication card, it's about legalities and that is somebody in jail. Please, Leos, just, just take cognizance of this. These are just messages I'm getting and I'm just going to deliver them to you. Like, subscribe and share this video, Leos. Comment below. Let me know what you're going through. I would love to hear from you. Cannot wait to come back again and do another reading for you, my darlings. But until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you, my lions, and namaste. Bye.